Now, an extraordinary story about a young man who many years ago visited Prague. What he found there were thousands of refugees. We are outside the Royal Festival Hall for the European premiere of One Life. It's a project that goes back a long way. We started 15 years ago. Ian and I met with Nicholas Winton and we got a sense of his deep humility from day one. It's about a story of someone that just decides to do one thing and do the right thing and it's a lesson for everybody. I was on the last Winton train and this is my label that I wore in 1939. When he saw the children, he knew he had to do something. The moment in the That's Live studio. On the day of that amazing reveal, when he found out how many he'd saved and he saw their faces, he was very humble and he said anybody would have done it. He was just a normal person and he just decided to do something and then that's all it took. Why are you doing this, Mr. Winton? Because I may be able to do something about it. I must. To be able to tell this story and bring that spirit to the world is a really wonderful gift to be able to be part of. What I hope people get the message is that anybody can make a difference. And thank you, Nicky Winton, for pointing the way. It is incredible what you achieved. And I think it's terrific that you're paying a tribute to Nicky Winton. Ladies and gentlemen, these 11 people left Prague 84 years ago. If there is anybody else who owes their life to Nicholas Winton, would they please stand?